potato, you crazy? We're gonna just use the remote. Ooh, that's fun. Let's play. Okay, so hot potato one. Ooh, uh, hot potato two. Oh, hot potato no. three. What is going on out here? Uh, uh, Bit it out. Uh, Alex? <gasps> what? No, Casey. Hey, no, don't say my name. Somebody tell me what that big crash is that was now. Um, well. Now. Casey broke the TV. Oh. crazy though, Alex. Oh, mommy, you don't believe me? That's not what I said. So what are you saying? I'm telling you what everything that that mean girl over there did. Yeah, but I never even said any of that. Mom, can I just tell my part? No, I'm still waiting on him to tell me. Now, everything you sit here telling us, is it true, Alex? Yes, a hundred gazillion bazillion percent true. Now, anyways, getting back to... Wait, why do you keep looking at the ceiling? <laughs> Please let me finish, Casey. Okay, Storyteller! Thanks! Now, before I was rudely interrupted, you said... Turn on a princess show right now! Sure! Where's the remote at? Um, I don't know! You find it! Hey, you know you can help me, right? <laughs> me? A princess? Leave my throne? Uh, yeah! Never! Okay, I guess I can do it myself. So you have my remote and you brought 
listening, please. Listen. Anyways. Okay, Casey, okay, so yeah, how you get out of your mouth? Now go. Get out of here. Girl's trying to enjoy her show. Can you at least say thanks? Thanks. Now bye. So I was walking back to my room to get on the game and play with the corners like me when I heard her. Ah! was you on the ground like you was when I came out here. Oh. Exactly. I can tell you why, Mommy. Well, tell me then, because from the look of it, you broke my TV. No, he did it. And that's why what he said is it true. It's so true. It's not. Yes, it is, dookie head. No, it's not, and you know it. Well, before I decide, I need to hear from your sister. Wait, why would you need to hear from her? I already told you how she did it. Because I... Sizzle. Ah, whatever. Go ahead, you mean girl. I'm not mean. I'm very nice. Now, this is what really happened, Mommy. Prepare yourselves for what I'm about to tell you. Because it can get quite crazy. You see, Mommy, she's already telling a story. Oh, really? How so? It's simple, Mommy. It's right in your face. She said I didn't tell the truth when I actually did. You heard it. I did hear your side, but now I'm going to let your sister tell me what she remembers. <laughs> now, this is what really happened, Mommy. I was just sitting in the living room, minding my business, being the good girl that I am, when I heard Stinky Boy Alex. <laughs> Jesus. Christ, mommy, nasty cooking. <laughs> Mess my stomach up. So I was just holding my nose, trying not to let the smell take over my beautiful face. Mommy, you see what I mean? She's telling a story. When I use the bathroom, you know I smell like Starburst. Alex, I'm trying to tell my story here. Now, like I was saying, me being the good sister that I am, I creep to the bathroom wearing my safety mask, and you <laughs> won't believe what I found. Poop, mommy. So when I seen it, I said, Ew, Alex, you have poop in the... Wait a minute. I got a closer look just to make sure I was seeing the right thing when... What are you doing <laughs> snubbing around in my bathroom when you have your own? Okay, well, I obviously needed something to wipe that stuff off of my face. So I was walking to get a towel out of the closet. Oh, wipe my face. Mm. <laughs> There's no towels in there, so I guess you can't wipe your dirty face. I know where somewhere I move. So I was walking to his closet since he takes all the towels to act like he's taking a shower. Casey, get out of my closet. No. Casey. Alex. Get out of my closet now no not until i find a towel i'm gonna count to five and you better i better what yeah that's what i thought one come on i just need one two man i know you have some in here three come out come out wherever you are four aha i got one wait these are undies five it's two Cry, baby, cry, baby. Casey, this doesn't sound like a story on how 
your brother broke my TV. Mom, I'm getting there. Let's go see the story is interesting. What happens next? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Alex, um, I found something in your undies. <gasps> no, no, those are mine. Well, these are your undies and this is your closet. So I think this is your poop. Alex, you don't know how to wash your clothes? I do, mommy, I do. <laughs> If you don't tell me who broke my TV, it's going to be both of y'all fault. Casey, just get through the line already. So, I apologize, and then that's when Alex said, Go wash my clothes right now. But, but these aren't mine. Obviously, but you'll find them. So, finders, keepers, losers, weepers. You know what, mister? You wash your own clothes. Ah! Sorry, ma'am. Um, I don't know how to help you there. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. So, what if you brought over a device that made them think that they were going to take a lie detector test? Yes, ma'am. Uh, that'll work. Uh, I can do that. And we can tell them that if they come clean, then nobody will get in trouble. But if they keep sticking to their lie and lie detector show who the liar is, then I'm going to file some charges for them destroying property. Your kids destroyed somebody's property? Oh, yeah, that ain't no big deal. Um, They just spray painted the teacher's house because she decided to give everybody their report card. Mmm, okay, I see. We'll be over there with the equipment in an hour, ma'am. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Um, see you soon. Alex and Casey, come here! Yes, ma'am? Did you call us to tell us we're getting a puppy? No. Since both of y'all left something out of y'all little stories about who broke my TV, the police is on their way and they bring in a lie detector machine. Lie detector? Yes. And I'm giving them permission to hook both of y'all up to it. Hey, you can't do that. I can and I did. Whoever did it is in big trouble. But mommy. No, no, I gave both of y'all the opportunity to tell me the truth. But it seems like neither one of y'all know what that is. But I do 
no, I already told you. Yeah, and so did I. I don't care. They're going to be here in a little bit. Y'all go back in that living room and do whatever y'all was doing. <laughs> <laughs> See, she really thinks we're going to believe that. She would never hook her kids up to a lie detector test. Just don't, Casey, don't believe her. You really think I'm believing her? I was just acting. I don't believe mommy for one second. There is no way in the world a police officer is going to come to our house and test us two kids on a lie detector test. Yeah, you're right. Wait! Do you even think that's legal for kids anyway? No, that's what I'm saying. She's just trying to scare us by lying to us. You know, that's probably where we get it from when she's telling us to tell people that she's not here. She's really here because she's telling us to say she's not here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And what about all the time when those people call asking her to pay her bill? She always talk about something. I don't have the money. I don't have the money. But then she ends up going shopping with her friends and she never brings us. We always got to stay here. Casey, that's where we get it from. Yeah. Mommy, I didn't do it. I promise. I'm your sweet, innocent little girl. Uh-oh. <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh -uh. You mean you're her evil little storyteller. Oh, my gosh. Alex, you're making your sister seem like a bad person. And Casey, you making your brother seem like a bad person. I just wish that y'all two would answer my question with the truth instead of taking me through all of this. But, Mom! Now, remember. If you can do the crime, you better be ready to do the time. The time? I'm not ready to do the time. Oh, there they go. The actually came. Mm, don't be scared now. Come on. Hey, thank you for coming. Hello, Hello ma'am. All right, well, y'all come on in. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Look at his mustache. <laughs> You are putting your mother through. When you do something wrong or mess up, be a big enough person to say that you did something that wasn't cool. If you have to suffer the consequences, then so be it. You must think about the consequences of your actions before you do something wrong or bad. After you consider the consequences and you find out if it's not good or if it's good, then you don't do it. Um, Alex, what even is a consequence? I don't know. I think he might have said it wrong. I think he's talking about the state Connecticut. I want to let you two in on a little secret. In my line of work, we usually always catch the bad guy. Oh, uh, Mr. Puny Mustache Man. It's not really a secret if you tell it to somebody. Right. And I'm a girl, not a boy. So I can't be a bad guy. That's Alex. Okay, Missy. Well, I work with some very smart people who know how to figure all this stuff out. Yeah, so if you want to come clean, now's the time to do so. Because once they hook y'all up to that machine and they start that little process, they can't stop. They can't stop! Nope. Oh, uh, Mom, question. Um, does it hurt? No, it won't hurt at all. So, how does this machine work exactly? Because I don't think it can really detect if I am telling a story. I think you're trying to scare the gummy bears out of me. This is my polygraph technician, Miss Lolly. Lolly? Like lollipop? <laughs> Cassie, did you hear that? Yes, Alex, I heard you. It was whack. Now, I will have Miss Lolly over here explain how the machine works. Go ahead, Miss Lolly. <clears throat> Hello, kids. The lie detector test is the most popular test used in the United States. The polygraph test is this machine right here measures your physiological features such as your heart rate, blood pressure, perspiration, respiration, and skin conductivity. Say what? It measures what? The machine measures your physiological features such as your blood pressure, heart rate, perspiration, respiration, and skin conductivity. <laughs> yeah, sound like a bunch of snitching if you ask me. No, Casey, that this sounds like some creepy stuff to me. And I don't want anything hooked up to my body checking my skin connection. Skin activity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with my brother on that one. That's creepy. So to simplify it, it measures the changes of a person's body as they respond to a question or statement. Ma'am, you are correct. What is this language you people are speaking? I don't know, Casey, and I really don't want to find out. Well, let's get started. 
So either y'all two is gonna tell me who broke my TV, or they gonna hook y'all up behind up to that little lie detector test, and they gonna tell me who did it. End of story. Oh, uh, when did it even start? <laughs> you got her, Alex. Oh yeah, Alex, get your behind in that chair. You're going first. No, wait, wait, but mommy, it wasn't me. I, I promise. I didn't do it, right, Casey? Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'll tell you what happened. And it better be the truth, or we're gonna do that little test. So we was playing hot potato with the remote, and we threw the remote high up in the air. We had to jump to catch the remote, you know, like Michael Jordan and LeBron James when they play basketball. So you're really gonna tell the truth, Casey? Okay, for the record, I was LeBron James. No, I was LeBron James, but that's don't interrupt me anymore, Alex. Okay, I won't. Sorry. Keep going. So, like I was saying, we was jumping in the air to catch the remote because, you know, we was playing hot potato and all. So, it was down to the wire. Nine to nine. The score is tied. Well, Alex here threw the remote up in the air. We both jumped to catch it. The remote came down. We both had our hands on it. Since we both caught it, I wasn't letting go in the wasn't gonna let go. Nope, I wasn't letting her win. No way. So, we agreed since we was trying to reach 10, we would just count to 10. And then we would throw the remote in the air. Whoever caught it, they would win. Oh, really? Ma, Ma, you gotta understand. I'm trying to tell it. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Anyways, so our backs would turn to the TV at this time. So we started to count down. We said 10. Yes, I think that's what they're saying. Thank you, sir. Now, since both of y'all didn't tell me the truth the first time I asked y'all, this is what I want y'all to do. 